a good morning, good afternoon, and a very good evening to you, the good people of YouTube. Hope you're today, hope you are feeling good and, and all is well. Hello there, everybody. Uh, today's vid, everybody. Well, the title's giving it away, isn't it? What we're going to do today is we're going to have to go, we're going to go after the Rory Gallagher tone slash Brian May tone. Why do I call it Rory Gallagher tone slash Brian May tone? It's because Brian May's tone is rooted in Rory's um, by Brian's own admission. Uh, the story goes that Brian went to see uh, Rory play. He would have been in Taste at the time, or it would have been his first solo album. It was seventies, isn't it? No, it'd be his first solo album. So anyway, Brian and his, some of his friends went down to see Rory play, and uh, Brian was like enraptured by Rory's guitar tone and uh, approached Rory after the gig when they were packing down, and he said to Rory, he "says How do you get that sound?" And Rory, being the most gorgeous human being, well, well one of the most gorgeous human beings in the world bought him on stage and uh, showed him exactly how he got that tone. So basically from his AC30 went into his uh, into his uh, Range Master Troll Booster, from his Range Master Troll Booster went to his Strat. And um, from that point on, Brian wanted that sound. And so when uh, when obviously he made his Red Special and the you know, Queen started gigging about, you know, it's, it's uh, Brian's setup was Red Special, into an AC30, I know that's not an AC30, but still, into a Vox AC30 and with a treble booster. And it really hasn't changed since. I mean, uh, Brian elaborated slightly with chorusing and delay, uh, but it's core tone is rooted in Rory Gallagher, you know. It, and so I thought today what we would do is we would get the uh, Iron Man treble booster, plug it into the Vox Escort 50 here, turn this up flat out, because there is no other way, run this into it with the red special and also Mr. Tokai here and we're going to go after those uh, Rory tones and Brian tones. I can't play, uh, I, I definitely can't play any Queen because of the, uh, you know, copyright law and all that, that fun stuff. And I can't really play any Rory either because of copyright law <clears throat> and all that fun stuff. But we can kind of get into the ballpark and see what happens. So I'm really excited about this. Uh, I will be wearing earplugs, everybody, because it's so loud. Uh, so I will be wearing earplugs. Uh, do not worry about that, because otherwise I will be just broken, crying on the floor. So uh, this is going to be really good fun. I'm really looking forward to this. So uh, let's set the treble booster to Mark 1. And, uh, well, basically, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to plug in and play and see what we, see what comes out, really. We're going to start with the Red Special, though. We're going to, well, it's not the Red Special, but it is the Red Special. Uh, we're going to start with this guitar and see what kind of things we get. And also, everybody, I will be playing the the, uh, the Brian May guitar with a sixpence piece. So, uh, you know, because it is part of Brian's sound. It's got that kind of serrated edge and it scratches more. When I switch to the Tokai to do Rory's tone, I will be using a normal plaque. But, uh, but yeah, so I'm really excited about this. I really can't wait. I love this amp to pieces. I have two of them, everybody. This is the uh, Vox Escort bass, though. So I've got the bass amp, which sounds immense as well. It doesn't have a breakup of this one, but it definitely sounds immense. And this one's got the logo, which I'm kind of uh, upset this one doesn't have a logo. But uh, yeah, so I've got both of these now. So I've got the bass amp and I've got the guitar amp. It, it doesn't sound great as a bass amp, but my God, does it sound good as a guitar amp. And I say, you'll see it again soon. I'll, I'll get to it at a later date and we'll go through this one. It definitely doesn't break up as much, but it's still ridiculously good fun so we're gonna go to this today we're gonna dime it out flat out volume uh we'll take the eq later on after we've done it but yeah so first things first um yeah i'm gonna start with the red special and then we'll do rory last um so yeah so uh without further ado let's get into this so let's move that over there for a moment plug in mr trouble booster okay okay so trouble booster's engaged um mic top uh, yeah, so let's get into this. So, uh, next thing you hear, it's gonna get loud, so watch out for your ears. Thank you. 
Okay, I think this might be, might be like one of the shortest videos I've ever done, but I can't keep playing at that volume in a residential A. <laughs> so unfortunately I'm going to have to stop there, but anyway. What a sound! I mean, it was a little bit kind of like, it's a little bit too aggressive for my taste, but my god, I still love it nonetheless. What a sound! I'm going to record with that sound, that is so cool! I mean, uh, I definitely preferred it with the Stratus, only because I'm still getting used to the, the, the Brian May guitar. 
But uh, the, obviously because the strat's home for me, isn't it? But but still, either way, I mean, thing. The really annoying thing is that the camera kept turning itself off again. I don't know what's going on. I don't know if it's a memory card or what. I'm going to have to order a new memory card and process of elimination this. It's getting annoying, to say the least. So the camera kept turning itself off. I I filmed a bit for like seven minutes at the beginning. It just decided not to record any of it. Bit weird. Anyway. Any, 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 any way. People of a tube, let me know what you thought in the comment section below. I mean, as soon as I plugged in the guitar, I, I, I was like, I was more inspired by Rory, definitely. I, I don't really know much of Brian and stuff to be honest. I'm not that, um, I'm not that clued into his way of playing and this and the other. So I was kind of approximating bits and pieces. But not really very well, I've got to say. But uh, that's okay. I mean, again, I'm not... I don't remember used to do it. But um, it felt wicked. It felt big and powerful and aggressive all at the same time. I mean, I don't know how well... I hope it came across really well with this, the 57. We're not close mics again, as usual. Uh, the grill cough on the amp was just kind of like going, way, going crazy. Uh, but what a wicked sound. I mean, so cool. So cool. I'd say oh, tre treble boosters, man. There's so much fun. Treble boosters, there's so much fun. Oh. I haven't got anything else to say, anybody, uh, people of YouTube. So, again, let me know what you thought in the comment section below. This is a very short video, but that's okay. Okay, so let me... I, I would like to play more, but it's too loud. It's too loud for the... I mean, that is... I mean, I had earplugs in. Uh, so I wasn't hearing the volume of it, so I could keep playing and playing and playing and playing with that because I had, I had protect, ear protection in. But no one else does. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure they could hear that down the road. That was so loud. I mean, oh my great, I mean, this thing's a 50 watt. And it's it, it's solid state 50 watt. So it's not... You could get you could, you could gig this. It would have to be on 10. It would have to be flat out to gig on. But my God, would you, you would want it on 10. It sounds immense. But, um, but my God, that is so loud. And I said, just sticking this in the mix. See how that face. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video, everybody. I certainly have. I really enjoyed this. I want to keep playing, but I know I can't, which is so frustrating. Anyway. So, yeah, Rory Gallagher slash Brian Maytone. Like, you know, we, that, that's... I don't know. I, I, I'm yet to hear that back. And in all fairness, if it got closer, it didn't. I honestly don't actually care. <laughs> I just enjoyed it. <laughs> I enjoyed it too much because I'm on like a, I'm, on, I'm on a high. I bet you can't tell. I feel absolutely kind of like high as a kite from that, and that is awesome. I am so happy. I love it. I, 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 I was like, as soon as I plugged that in and started playing, I was like, I forgot the purpose of the video, and I was just like, I just want to play. So, uh, so yeah. If it got close to Rory or Brian, let let me know. I don't remember. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know anymore. Anyway, I'm going to have to go because I'm such a giggly little, giggly little wreck that I am. Anyway, I love this amp so much. I really love this amp so much. I'm so glad I've got it. I'm so glad I've got its bass brother as well. Um, I wonder what it would be like to run both of these. They do have two inputs. I wonder if you could daisy chain them. I don't know if you can, but it'd be worth trying. Because um, this one's a lot cleaner. Than this one being a bass amp that's a lot cleaner than this one this one's got a lot more distortion being a guitar amp but they still sound amazing but you have to wind them up to the teeth to get them to sound kind of really good they sound good at okay but they sound okay at low volume and you've got that kind of voxy kind of chimey clean tone thing but when you wind these things up my god are they so good anyway and i say if you if you come across one of these vox, vox escorts i can't recommend them enough if, if you come across one they're so cool uh, yeah, I love them. Love them to bits. Anyway, I'm going to have to go, everybody, because I have nothing else to say, and I'm on a massive high, and I really want to go and listen to what it sounds like. So, uh, hope you enjoyed this video, everybody. I'll see you again very soon for another one. Have a great morning, afternoon, good evening, and goodbye now. Oh, my God. <laughs> so cool. See you again. Goodbye.